Well, we have Liberty Festival coming up this weekend. Three days worth of family fun going on down at Petrick Park. So this is kind of going to be like uh, old time fun, like uh, games and everything. Tell me what we're looking forward to. Well, we have um, water slides and bounce houses coming. We have the big water, wow, water attractions coming. So there'll be plenty of cool water at the park. We have vendors. We've paid for the public pool. So the pool will be open Friday and Sunday on the chamber. And then the Valley Cruisers, of course, paid for the fourth like they typically do. So the pool is open and free Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And our typical firework show? Um, we actually have two fireworks show in in town this weekend so mm -hmm. the park will be running from noon to eight on friday and then the nugget will do their fireworks around nine or so as soon as it's dark so anybody who wants to get over to the nugget and see theirs has time yeah. and then we have the town of Pahrump show of course on saturday night and so this you guys kind of coordinated with the nugget so to make sure that uh, people who are enjoying the liberty festival down there at petrick park can still make it to the nugget but then also open once again on saturday at petrick park and then get ready for the big fireworks show absolutely mm -hmm. and we coordinated with with the whole um, community. So we coordinated with the Prump Nugget to do their fireworks Friday night mm -hmm. so that we, again, could offer, just like you say, offer the park on Friday and, and Saturday. We also um, included our um, in our programming the VFW uh, Pancake Breakfast and Parade, so our events don't start until after that, so people get to go start their morning with that and then come to the park. Mm -hmm. We have a horseshoe tournament 10 a.m. Um, at Petrick Park as well, so mm -hmm. anybody who'd like to play horseshoes, it's non-sanctioned and opened. And so um, he's got a pretty good sign up for that already. People should bring their chairs, their blankets, and um, even umbrella during the day. They bring those on down to Pedrick Park, the lawn area there. And of course, uh, snacks and whatever else games that you'd like to play and participate in the Chambers games too. Right. And we also have a bike contest for kids. So at noon on Saturday, we'll be having a bike parade or any kind of rolling, you know, decorate your wagon, anything <laughs> rolling. We'll put in a kids' parade and have that. Um, I'd love to do a patriotic dress contest. So anybody who um, will just call people to the stage and do some patriotic dress. We're going to have two days of music. Yeah. So we have music playing from noon to 8 um, on Friday, and we have from, I believe it's 10 to 8 on Saturday. What's the times for Sunday at the Liberty Festival? Um, Sunday is the community worship service. So it's starting at 8 o'clock in the morning. There will not be vendors on Sunday. There will, however, be donuts and coffee at the um, chamber trailer. So we'll have donuts and coffee for sale and then with their community worship service beginning at 8. Um, I want to bring up that we have started a traffic plan. The Sheriff's Department has asked for some traffic control. Mm -hmm. So people need to be aware coming off of Basin, they're only going to be able to go right onto Highway 160. Mm -hmm. And coming out of the Fire Department entrance, they'll only be able to go left so that we can kind of get that park cleaned up more quickly and we don't have the gridlock <laughs> that typically goes on and maybe we can get that park emptied out a little more efficiently.